ladies and gentlemen, it is such a honor for me to be here. It's such a shocker that I finally was able to come here, that it's raining, I cannot get a right shot. I'm surrounded by people, but I am happy because I am finally in Florence. I can't believe I'm in Florence. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Okay. We have two missions, no, three missions for these Florence getaway. We need to have some lunch. We have one place to check out and then we need to go where? Oh, we need to take the photo at the photo booth, the vintage one. It went viral for a while. You could see that everywhere and I was like, I cannot believe I never saw that. We have to take some pictures there. What else should we do? What should we do? I don't know. I don't remember. I have no idea. Taking advantage of the sun because apparently tomorrow it's supposed to rain and we are doing the most of the things we want to do today for this reason. We love Florence. I mean, you can tell that it's old and there is history, but compared to other cities we've been to, everything is just well kept. Let's just put it like that. Everyone is going there. We are 100% sure that we are following the right people that are going to eat at the same place we're going to. We were like, are these people gonna be before us when we're on the line? And then they stopped. It's like the line is not too bad. And then there is four, like <laughs> four entries. So there were like four lines. Minu. La Paradiso. Everything looks delicious. I almost forgot to tell you what I got. So I got ham, prosciutto crudo, truffle cream, and provola. It is good. It's cold. I don't know why. I thought in Scamorza, for some reason, I thought it would be hot. It would be more like a pizza or mozzarella cheese or something. But it's not. By the way, I can tell why that place is popular because I think it's very rare to eat this good for the price. The average is like 10 euros and this was 10 euros but there are some other options that goes from 7 to 8 euros until even 12 and 14 depending on what you get but I think the reason why this place got popular is because for this price point in the center of Florence it's hard to get something that good like you can tell that everything they have it's fresh it's handmade and it's good quality price quality ratio I think it's on point like spot on that's why it's still popular and I think it deserves the high this is one of the few places that still deserves the high despite being like I don't know at least four years and we got also <laughs> boxed water <laughs> Yes, this is a good choice. Okay. No, 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 We are laughing because basically every time she goes somewhere, anything she has to see, it's always under construction. And look what's under construction today in Florence. Look at that. <laughs> Everything started with the Kyomizudera in Kyoto and it still has not ended. I think you have something off your planet. <laughs> 
there have been worse days. This is nothing. This is literally nothing. The kilometer that I was completely off limits. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. Look at the colors. There is no sun. It's coffee. Still as beautiful. I think it's a tie between Rome and Florence. Like, they're my favorite cities in Italy. Don't know if I would live now in any of those cities, but every time I get a chance, I have to come and visit. They're just so beautiful. I think I like Florence more, like over Rome, but Rome is closer to Naples, so it's very easy for me to go. It's just one hour train ride. But Florence is just beautiful. Every time I come here, I'm just in awe all the time. Oh, it's glory. I have literally a golden door. <laughs> I was asking my friend, do you want something from Florence? And she was like, I didn't buy anything when I came to Florence. Just the best part is literally the experience. This is everything you could ask for. Nothing to bring home, just coming here and seeing everything in person. Libraccio. Libraccio is a second-hand bookstore for no Libraccio in Naples. So every time we go to Rome, we need to visit. We just found out that in Florence too, so we have to go. The building in Rome is just so pretty. It's inside an old building, like better than the Zara you can find in Rome. How can I not buy something? Everything, like these things are 50% off. How? This is one of my favorite publishing houses. They all do these editions like this. It's called SE. It's usually foreign like, literature. They also have a few Italian authors. I remember almost every Japanese author that I was reading at university had a book with SE. I remember there were a lot of editions from these publishing house in our university library. And I was so happy if every edition was from this publishing house because it just looked so aesthetic. I don't know, there is something very beautiful about the way the spines go. It never cracks, but it's always easy to read. So they have a very good book selection. Some of my favorite books ended up to be from these publishing house. I think they're doing a great job. We left empty-handed, which is a good thing. So our TBR is a mess, but in the meantime, the sun came out and look at that. Look how pretty this is. We're just walking and we found this. We don't know if it was not working or if it, we couldn't make it work. Either way, we're going to the other one, the one with the angel. We almost checked everything off our checklist. We're doing a pretty good job. Despite the weather, I think Florence is more a town than a city. So you can get it around pretty easily, like pretty fast. Tomorrow, it's supposed to rain. So we're spending the day at Fitzy, the museum. Pretty sure we're spending hours there. We are taking advantage of this day of going around the city onto our last location. Let's go. There are two types of people. One and two. We're finally here. I really hope we got some luck with this one. <laughs> So it's not us, it's them. Oh no! Anyway, so oh, the photo booth was broken, it was out of order. The funny thing is that literally everyone behind us were, oh my god, I came from the other side of the city just to take a picture here. Basically, we didn't get any picture. I think it's the same company owning this two or three photo booth around Florence. Each of them is out of order. So there is no way for us to take these freaking pictures. And then we met a girl, she was solo traveling, she was from the US. She's been around Italy since Easter and she said probably because of Easter, there were so many people taking films that they need to you know, recharge whatever they need to recharge or films and ink. I don't know. All I know is that at least we got a reel to post, like a video to post on Instagram. Because at least we made the whole walk worth it. <laughs> Get 
turned out pretty good. Gorgeous, flawless, so beautiful. I remember last time I went inside the church and there is a kiosk that you can actually visit and it's like a small garden under some arch. It's too pretty, unbelievably pretty because it's completely different from the outside of the church. Here it's all white, green and pink slash red matching the Duomo and the other churches and all the marble in Florence. But actually if you go inside, it's more raw bricks and less colors just as beautiful as the outside it matches everything regardless but i do have a very good memory of that despite the day being windy and not too sunny i, I remember that <laughs> just to find home here it's so clean it's just spotless it's literally sparkling look at that clean because it is and it's beautiful even without the sun but when the sun reflects on the green and the marble oh my god i mean the white marble because everything is marble duh it's just so beautiful oh i love this city <laughs> Oh my god, we would get the Look at this! Dinner was delicious. Thank you, Marco. Thank you. <laughs> See you next time. It was just a good experience, like a very good dinner, and the food was so good. Those ravioli were delicious, and the dessert. Oh <laughs> the dessert. <laughs> First 24 ish hours in uh, Silence. <laughs> it was a rough day. It was a good day because we had so much fun in the city, but we're so tired. This morning, our train was at 8 20, but we had to commute to the station, to the central station. So we've been up since like 5 30 or something, and I also woke up at 5 30 because I didn't pack last night. I had to wake up earlier this morning, which it was not a wise choice. I had better days, honestly. I feel like I have lived, I don't know, two days at least. That's it for today. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Che bella scena! Wow, wow. Ali, Ali, puoi venire un momento? Ali, oh Ali, will you come here?
Water, but we're in the wrong section. The section turned water into wine. Sorry, that was a lame joke. Got some fuel. I'm so thirsty. It's actually very hot. She's on vacation, like from work, so she's supposed to be relaxing all the time. I'm just here chilling with her. The majority of the shots, like from afar, she took them. So props to her. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Finally managed to upload the video in the cafe we were earlier because for some reason in 2023 it is like an apartment, right? We are literally in an apartment. The Wi-Fi is not working. It's too slow even to load something from Instagram on our phones. So we're just like stuck. We're better off with our data than using this Wi-Fi, which is obviously no good. Anyway, when I finished uploading my video, I got a copyright claim. Oh my god. I'm trying to avoid copyright at any cost. It's just so hard. But I really wanted to find the right music and I thought it was not copyrighted. So I'm guessing that my favorite song is copyrighted because the other one, I mean, I found everything that had copyright free on YouTube, but I can only check from desktop. Let's see together what, what seems to be the problem here. Uh, uh, I, this is my problem. Do you see how long it took just to load the homepage on YouTube? I hope I have more luck with YouTube Studio. Let's see. What? I literally follow this creator. And he always allows people to use his music as long as they put source in the description box, which is what I do all the time. And I never had any issue. What's wrong with that? working on the thumbnail. I'm not sure about that. It's a work in progress. This is actually the first time that I work from somewhere. I think I should stop doing work like this because it's, I take it so seriously. I update my notion every week and I take time for this on a trip as well. I think I could call it a job, but I'm still not getting any money from that. So I'm, I don't know, depending on what you think, what you define as a job. Now, every time I get a comment, I'm just like, yes, it's all worth it. It makes me so happy, especially when people can relate to some of the things that I didn't really think about. I remember I was reading a comment. It was one of my soul blogs and someone was saying, oh my God, when you pulled out the Coke from the fridge, it was just so relatable. And first of all, I felt overwhelmed. It's very heartwarming because it was an honest comment. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. Wow. Someone actually paid attention to this and I never realized that it's the simple things which is something I also see when I watch videos so I just don't know why when it's about my videos I don't think about that maybe because I'm too invested like now there are so many people saying that they love my grandparents because they remind them of their grandparents and it's so heartwarming I read my comments to my grandma all the time by the way and she's always like oh my god it's so cool that so many people can relate because she's always complaining about her kitchen looking messy in the videos but she's also very happy that people like that because she's always supporting me when I say oh grandma look I have that 
that amount of subscribers? Are they your friends? Do you know them? But anyway, what was the point in this conversation? <laughs> they're so cute that was an experience you can take only for pictures there is a very long pause between the third and the last one and we're like is it over like has it been four and we didn't notice and then suddenly the flashing again and we were like oh <laughs> but i think there is not we don't have that picture here so probably our reaction was good enough <laughs> pretty but we made it <laughs> that was a nice workout <laughs> address this thing every time I travel so I'm just doing it now excuse my glasses but it's too sunny if you come to Italy I am 80% sure that you can find a rail pass that gets you discount every time you book a train to go from a city to another around Italy that's very convenient actually if you book those kind of trains for example if you go from Naples to Florence or if you go from Venice to Milan you can get them for cheaper if you get the 
Rail Pass and I think you have to apply from your country because I think it works like the Japan Rail Pass. So you apply from your country and I'm not sure if it works if you are in Europe, but it works if you are from Asia or America, I'm pretty sure. We have two main lines for trains like this. One is Trenitalia and the other one is Italo. If you don't get your pass, check Italo first. Italo is way cheaper than Trenitalia. If you book early enough, you can get a one-way ticket for even 10 euros if you go from Naples to Rome. Like now they're back to their usual prices. You can literally get a round trip for less than 20 euros and one way for 10 to 15 euros, even first class. This is how I get around Italy, to be honest. Because yes, we do have Ryanair, which is fairly convenient, but sometimes the airport is just too far from the city. The whole trip is not worth it because then you have to move from the airport, the city center, and it's basically the same price to arrive by train directly in the city center. And with the train, you can just bring your own luggage, like don't care about not bringing enough stuff and such. So if you are around Europe and especially around Italy, I highly recommend to check out the trains. I promise you won't regret it. Yo, yo. Karina. <laughs> Okay, today is working. Since it's working today, you're gonna get another picture. It's either all or nothing. We got like two. <laughs> <laughs> got two. <laughs> Finally, there was not a line. I think because it's on the other side of the river, so people are not from here on purpose because there are two on the other side, like in the center. We got so lucky. I lost two euros somehow. I, I thought I had them in my pocket, but apparently I didn't. I think there is a goblin or something because I keep losing stuff here. I don't know, maybe it's the Florence air. I don't have any not paranormal explanation to that. <laughs> But we still managed to get our picture at the first photo booth we wanted to go. This is my fault because I said that Italo is very reliable and it's cool and I always use that. But we actually had an overbooking. Apparently, like there are already two people with our same ticket, same ticket, same uh, coach, just waiting for someone to check again. Like they already checked and it's no one's fault. So we're just waiting to know our destiny. This is the first time this ever happens to me. Never happened to me, not even with Ryanair. So <laughs> we're not even mad. It's just so funny for some reason. We're waiting here in the middle of coaches. <laughs> there you go. All I can say is that at least we have a story to tell. Imagine if this trip was so boring that we only had rain and got lost. Sometimes nothing really happened. This couldn't be our trip. So now that we had something happening, we know for sure we were meant to come here and all of this was supposed to happen. Let's see how it turns out.